Okay, here's some of the pieces that I made um, with some of those investment pieces. And I'm going to show you some pictures of how they started out. I loaded the kiln with um, all the little ceramic sort of uh, investment pieces and, you know, a circle. And the second one, that square, of course I put the Mickeys around the outside. But uh, So next I put two layers of glass on top of it. I put the blue and clear on one, and I put a dichroic piece with clear on the other one. And then I uh, fired them in the kiln to about uh, 1425 degrees maybe. And so this is how it turned out. And then I wanted to um, possibly slump that smaller one into a little dish. And just didn't like it. Just didn't like the idea of it. Didn't like anything about it. So let's come back to what it looks like now. These pieces. So the first thing I did was use my glass cutter and cut it apart. And I figured I had three of these, so I only wanted one of them. So I went to my tile saw and at that point started sort of carving them away. I cut this off, I cut this off. I, I felt I was getting more accuracy with my tile saw than with my glass cutter. And just kept sanding them and carving them until I came, to, came down to these three. So I put these back in, put it back in the kiln without the bale, right? And fire polished them so they were nice and shiny on the edges. So that would be as fast as possible to 1300 and I think it was 55 degrees for 10 minutes and then turned it off and let them cool and then added the bales to them and came out with some pretty interesting necklaces. I could do the same with these guys and this glass, of course, won't go to waste. That, those are done. Pretty happy with those. And then it comes to this. So this one, um, again, I fired them with, the, with all the pieces in the kiln to a full fuse. And so now I would remove these, and they should pop right out, pretty close to popping out. Tap it. Tap, tap. No kiln wash on those, right? They just popping out on their own. Sometimes it's a little tight. So some of them were in there a little tight just because I did a full fuse, but they certainly weren't stuck. I can wash all this out. And what I thought I would do is turn this into a clock. Why not, right? So what I'd want to do is drill a hole through the center of that and put this piece through it. And if I don't mind looking at that square behind it, I could leave it just as is. Or I could add another piece of glass or a mirror or something behind it, glue it together, and have that go through both pieces. So what I'm going to do now is drill a hole in the center of that. I've got my regular drill, and I'll tell you why. This bit is a um, core drill bit. It creates a core. It's going to cut a hole big enough for the stem of this see the stem of that so it'll create a hole big enough for this to go through and I can't fit it in my Dremel. My Dremel only holds small bits you know the smaller shaft bits so the other option is my drill press and my drill press the throat on it isn't deep enough for something this wide so my only option is doing it by hand. So I'm going to show you how I do that. We always need water. So fortunately this has a little a little hole, you know, some place to store the water, what, you know, pour it into. 
And then the first thing you want to do is tilt sideways. You want to create a little groove and then we tilt up. Okay? And something very important. We need something under here because I don't want to drill a hole in my work surface. So I'm going to add something to that. Alright, I'm going to use this little drawer liner. That's my little cushion for it. And here we go. Now you want to put pressure, but not too much. You don't want to break the glass. I'm going to drain out the water so you can see what's going on. So you see how I'm, th that hole has started? I'm almost through. I'm really close to being through. So I'm going to add a little more water and go very lightly to the end. see the little core that I drilled out is right there. And be careful, it's actually really sharp um, where it breaks off at the end there. So I have to pop that out of there. And see the beautiful hole we made? Let's turn it over. Look at that. It is gorgeous. Clean that out a little bit. Of course, I want to wash this whole thing now before I put my clock together. Okay, now we'll put our clock together. Alright, thanks for watching. Be cool, honey bunnies. Bye.